Hello and welcome to the Friday, February 14th, 2020 edition of Tesla Daily, unofficial Tesla podcast. My name is Rob Mauer. Today we are talking briefly again about Tesla's capital raise, Nissan's quarterly report, Model 3 news, and Gigafactory Berlin news. Tesla stock on the day today was down half a percent to $800.03. That compared to the NASDAQ up 0.2%. This will be a quick episode today. I'm a bit constrained on time. So we'll go through this pretty high level, and then I do have some scheduling updates for next week, which I am excited about, but need to go through at the end. As a quick reminder, the NASDAQ is closed on Monday for President's Day. All right, so first up, let's go through this cap raise again pretty quickly here. Tesla did file an updated prospectus today, and it looks like the offering price will happen at that $767 share price. So despite the increase that we saw in the share price yesterday, it looks like Tesla has decided to stick with that closing share price from two days ago. That option for those additional 400,000 shares as part of this raise is still on the table. I expect those to be taken. So if that is the case, this will generate $2.31 billion in cash for Tesla after fees. Tesla said in the filing that they expect those shares to be delivered for payment on or about February 19th. Next up today, I wanted to briefly talk about Nissan's earnings. They just reported and the stock is down 10% as earnings were pretty troubling for their Q3 causing that further pressure on the stock, which is now down about 45% over the last year. So in the quarterly report, they announced that sales were down in every region, down 18% overall, and down 21% in North America, their largest region. And on the profit line, things are looking quite a bit worse. Year to date, so through the first three quarters, their fiscal year ends after March, year to date operating profit is down 83%, and year to date net income is down 88%. They also updated their profit guidance for the total year, which again ends in March, and they reduced their operating profit forecast, which they had last given in November, by 43%. Alongside all of that, just like we talked about with Daimler a few days ago, Nissan announced that they are cutting their dividend by 30%. That dividend cut puts pressure on Renault as well, because they do have an ownership stake in Nissan, that dividend makes up a portion of their profits. So I know these are high-level numbers and people are going to be curious about what's driving that. I'm curious as well. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to look into it today, so I'll just offer a couple of general comments. Just looking at profitability being down is not inherently a bad thing. As we have seen with Tesla, you have to go through a period of time of poor profitability before you are at scale with electric vehicles. So if other automakers were making significant investments into electric vehicles and that reason was the reason profitability was poor, I would be definitely okay with that and actually even applaud that. That's exactly what I would advocate for them to do, but we're just not seeing much progress in electric vehicles, so I'm pretty skeptical that that's what's driving poor profitability. It is definitely worth considering though and something that I want to continue looking into over time. Next up today, we have some news on Model 3. It has been awarded a top safety pick plus designation from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, for 2020, and it is one of just 23 cars or SUVs to be awarded that designation. I know Model 3 safety at this point in time is a little bit of old news, but nice to see Model 3 earn that designation again. Next today, a quick update on Gigafactory Berlin. Tesla has begun to clear trees from the tree farmland that Gigafactory Berlin will be built on. So really the first physical step that we're seeing for Gigafactory Berlin construction. And while Tesla will be clearing these trees, it's important to remember a couple things. Number one, as I said, this is tree farmland, so man-made forestation. Tesla will be replanting voluntarily more trees than they are clearing from this area. Shifting off Tesla for a little bit, I did want to also point out some news from Elon Musk's Boring Company, which yesterday finished the excavation of the first of two tunnels under the Las Vegas Convention Center. So a nice construction milestone for the Boring Company there as well. That system is supposed to be completed by the end of this year. And on this milestone, Steve Hill, the president and CEO of the Las Vegas Convention Center, said, quote, to be able to build almost a mile-long tunnel inside of three months and have that built pretty seamlessly is pretty remarkable, and it's only going to get faster from here. It's a big day for Las Vegas, end quote. All right, and then last thing here, I just wanted to walk through the schedule for next week. I will be traveling for this podcast. I'm heading to New York for some interviews that I'm excited about. Before anyone gets too excited, it's not ARK Invest. I know we want to get them on. They didn't respond to me on Twitter, so we'll keep trying for them, but I'm excited about this stuff nonetheless, and we'll probably do some stuff with Galley of Hyperchange while I'm out there, but I will have to miss a couple of days of the podcast. We'll kind of take it day by day and see what's going on with Tesla, but right now the plan would be for Monday and Friday episodes. And then I think in the gap in the middle of the week, I'm going to post one of my older interviews that a lot of people, probably 80% of the audience, has not had a chance to listen to yet. I still think a lot of those are valuable and interesting, so that's sort of the tentative plan for now, and we'll just kind of play it by ear next week. But make sure you're following me on Twitter at Tesla Podcast for updates on that. Otherwise, that is it for the day and for the week. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.